In this video, we will do another analysis. This time, we will uh, take a uh, recent weightlifter, a younger weightlifter, Erwin Rahmat from Indonesia. His name was appearing a lot in my uh, comments here on the YouTube and uh, on my Instagram as well. So it seems he has a low snatch results and uh, higher results in the clean and jerk, succeeding recently on 198 at clean and jerk. So in this video I will review his uh, 151 snatch from uh, second attempt. Even before starting the analysis of him I see that have uh, issues with his uh, shoulders and uh, probably something it's not properly well met there in the cash position usually a weightlifter that is using well the overhead position and is knowing how to keep shoulders and to do lockout from elbows he don't need to have any issues with his uh, shoulders so this is happen only when you do something wrong there and because you do that the barbell it's putting a lot of pressure on your shoulders and you can start to have serious problems even your arms are very big and your upper body is solid so let's go from uh, frame to frame he's adopting a very low star position hips are very low it's trying to keep uh, chest up when a lifter likes to adopt uh, this uh, very low star position in the snatch and his uh, mobility it's uh, permit him to do that i uh, almost all the time bet that his uh, deadlifts are uh, very weak so his uh, hinge exercises are very very low and it's not focusing too much on this one and from there appear this uh, compensation when lifter is trying to use mostly legs and quads we can see that his head is also back here it's trying to, to use that legs there he has a good transition here when barbell is passing his knees arms are good using here like an Piros Dimas style here with his head he's coming with hips nice in barbell and uh, is doing that thing from his head if uh, we look here hip contact here it's not uh, fully extend the knees are remaining a bit banded it's okay to do like that because i keep uh, telling that one and uh, in order to change your direction faster to, to be there uh, very powerful you don't need to fully extend if you fully extend the barbell will stop for uh, half a second and when the barbell is stopped there you cannot be powerful you can't do anything and uh, all the time when you try to fully extend and you do that and you reach here in the second pull you will feel that your snatch is from two parts so you will not feel uh, that it's smooth there's a transition and this is because this one because you try to fully extend arms are pretty good here in the transition is uh, jumping more with left leg probably that leg is stronger here the balance in the catch it's at limit because it's not uh, jumping too much here when it's entering under the barbell it's at limit and it's more on tiptoes here you need to make sure that you have your balance on your heels oh, and uh, what it's uh, this one is like i speak it before it's with uh, his uh, shoulders we see that he has uh, a lot of uh, external rotation here from his uh, arms and we see this one uh, from his uh, head position as well because when you external here a lot you are like that it's pretty hard to come with the head in front and keep chin down if you do that your arms it will bend and your snatch it will look like that so we can see this one at a lot of beginner what i'll recommend here is to focus more on your elbows when you do the lockout you let your shoulders normal don't try to internal or external rotate let them normal let your shoulder blades normal and focus on your elbows the lockout is uh, pretty same like you are flexing your triceps or you are giving a punch to someone better have uh, that idea in the mind so we see here that it's out of balance keeping the barbell in front a lot big mistake here by externally rotate a lot that's why it's the reason that he has a problem with his uh, shoulders has a very nice mobility to bet that it's not using properly there the cash position catching very very low here it will be much stronger if uh, he let his uh, shoulders normal doing lockout from elbows you can also keep your chin down nice in front when you keep chin down the spine it's in a stronger position and also it's required to watch with eyes in front because our eyes are searching all the time the horizon line and if you watch down or up you will not be very stable there and uh, your body it will not know where it is exactly and uh, it will be 
very hard to be balanced there very strong on the way up here i saw that uh, at first attempt at his uh, 141 kilograms it's uh, keeping much better the arms probably there because the barbell is easier it's uh, letting him to be more comfortable and there the cash position was much better i will add that one here as well we can see already that in the catch it's in a much better position it's still external rotate but because the barbell is easier he's staying better with his head and uh, he don't uh, go that much like he's doing with 151 this is a very very dangerous position and you can easily have uh, problems to injure your shoulders or even to broke your elbows overall erwin it's a um, very young athlete and uh, these uh, things can be easily fixed i'm a bit amazed because uh, he's doing this mistake because uh, his uh, compatriot eko yuli iravan that was uh, very good at uh, 62 category he was having a very good overhead position so probably they are in their country, they have uh, different coaches or uh, I don't know what it's uh, this uh, reason here, but these are uh, very important, especially if you want to become a professional lifter and especially if you work at these weights, you need to make sure that you are using properly the overhead position. This was my analysis for uh, Erwin Abdullah Rahmat Snatch. I want to let you know that uh, if you have a, a preferred weightlifter that uh, you want me to analyze, him make sure you put him in the comments here on the youtube because uh, what is happen all the time when uh, someone is uh, putting a name erwin abdullah or uh, piros dimas or uh, i don't know other good lifters i copied that name i added in the excel file that i have here on my laptop and after that when i want to do a video analysis i go to that excel file and i search all uh, duplicate values there and the one name it's appearing more that is the next uh, video analysis that i will do so if you really want to see a weightlifter on the analysis make sure you comment enough here in the section and uh, probably it will be the next one in my analysis just wanted to let you know how this analysis work and how i choose my next weightlifter to analyze so it's uh, up to you if you want to be next one if you want to see more video analysis that i do recently at uh, very good weightlifter i will let you here on the screen the video analysis playlist and you can go to watch at uh, all videos i have more than 30 athletes reviewing their technique